Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. Six of Wands here. The Knight of Wands. Aries Leo Sag energy. Money focus. And we have date. Interesting. All right, clarify. I saw one, two, three on the camera. Clarify six of wands. Tower. You guys could have some type of unexpected victory coming in here. Like an unexpected accomplishment. Unexpected. Um, yeah. Achievement. Success. Acknowledgement. Something like that could be happening in happening here. Clarify the Knight of Wands. The kick, but eh. Yeah, I cannot be trusted. Somebody here is lustful. They're a player with the Knight of Wands and cannot be trusted. Clarify the money focus card. I'm also getting the energy here of an ego death. Um, somebody, okay, so somebody maybe, yeah, Queen of Wands here. Somebody, Aries Leo said, Pisces energy with the high priestess. All right, before I say anything, clarify the Six of Wands in the Tower, the Sun. Clarify Date and the Queen of Wands, the Chariot. You're, there is some type of victory happening here. The Tower, the Six of Wands, Death. Like, successfully closing out a cycle, su successfully making some type of big change, transition, transformation. Clarify. Children. Children are affecting your... What about children? It's time for what? Divine intervention. No more running. Page of Wands. For communication. Page of Wands. Somebody's walking away from something. Like somebody's ready like ready to close out a chapter or walk away from something. What is this in like for... Yeah. They have direction. They know what they're going to... They know what they want and they're, they're taking action on it. Ending something. Walking away from something. So what does this have to do with you? Ooh, karmic partner. And we have the ace of pentacles. I saw the ace of pentacles when I was um shuffling. What does karmic partner mean for my collective? We have the hierophant. And we have the seven of cups. So you could be dealing with somebody that didn't know if they wanted to be committed to you or to somebody else. Yeah, three of cups on the back of the deck. They didn't know if they wanted to have a steady union with you or a steady union with somebody else. So somebody's walking away from something. Are they walking away from you? Or are you are you walking away from them? Or are they walking away from something else? Somebody, something's being hidden here with the money focus and the high priestess. It's like somebody's hiding that they were maybe they chose somebody over for money or they're hiding some type of financial issues that they're having from you. Somebody wants to have some, you know, sexy time with you too. I can see it. Mm -hmm. They want to spend some time together with you, but they want more than that. Okay, so who, what's being walked away from here with the eight of cups energy? The Nine of Pentacles, okay? And the Sun. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. Sun of Swords. The Unawakened. Somebody's just choosing to focus on themselves. Yeah, like focus on themselves, be single, justice. Yeah, and undecided. Now what? Somebody not knowing what the right, right thing to do is. So are they still in this energy? What a catch. Somebody being undecided. Somebody's afraid of losing you. So what are they going to do? What are they going to do here? Ace of Swords. There's, there's some type of breakthrough happening here. Because somebody is afraid that they have lost you or they're about to lose you. They're going to, like, the, the, the fear of losing you is causing somebody to, to make a decision here. To see things clearly. It's triggering a breakthrough. Where they were conflicted. So what is this Ace of Swords? The mirroring. Okay. And we have the devil. Somebody is starting to realize how toxic they were. You've shown this person. You've mirrored back to them how toxic they were. What is this decision or this breakthrough? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Steady Union. Okay. And the Seven of Wands. And the King of Cups. Forbidden. Somebody coming in to fight for you, but kind of feeling like you're not somebody that they're really supposed to be with, or they may not have the opportunity to be with you anymore, but they're going to take a leap of faith. 
Yeah, because they feel like you're their happily ever after or something like that. They have regrets, though. Yeah, they regret King of Wands, the Two of Swords. Yeah, they regret what they did while they were indecisive about whether or not they really wanted to go all in with you, pretty much. Like, despite them having feelings and emotions. Yeah, because they didn't know if they were... It's like they were purposely holding them back, themselves back from making a decision. What? So who is this other person? Who is this other person that's coming through in this reading? The twin? What's going on? What are their intentions for my collective? What are their intentions? Oh... Um, King of Swords. This is somebody that's getting out of their head. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. But this is somebody that was stuck up in their head. Um, they maybe even felt stuck or trapped in a situation. They're getting, they're either, they're making a decision or they're seeing the truth. Maybe they're seeing that they've never been stuck or that they're not stuck. Um, they could be getting out of their head, making a decision, having a lot more clarity. Oh, why is the King of Cups here? The Eight of Pentacles again and the Queen of Pentacles. What is this about? King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I mean, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands, okay. Somebody's coming in with an offer. Why is the Five of Wands here, though? What's the Five of Wands? Temperance. They don't want to fight anymore. With Temperance and the Five of Wands, they want to make peace. There was some type of conflict between you and this person. They want to reconcile. And I think that they will be telling you this with the Eight of Wands. You may get multiple messages from this person. What about this King of Cups, though? Somebody's getting... See, I feel like somebody was confused about their feelings and emotions for you. But now, with the King of Cups, they know... They've gotten some type of clarity about how they feel about you. What about the Eight of Pentacles? They feel like you're worth fighting for, or they feel like... Yeah, they feel like you're worth, like, working up the courage here to try to work things out with you. Yeah, like... They feel like you're somebody that's worth working on things with or compromising with, fighting for. Um, because they feel like you're very abundant, you're very confident, you're very stable, queen of, very nurturing. Yeah, queen of pentacles, judgment and wishing. It's like they're just kind of sitting in their karma. It's like thinking about what they did or how they handled things. And yeah, the lovers... Sexual. It's like they kind of feel like, yeah, what about the Six of Cups? The Ace of Wands. Yeah, I told you they want to come back and have a sexual encounter with you. What about, what is that? <laughs> Ten of Wands. What are Ten of Wands? You're releasing this person. Yes, they because they betray. Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. Oh. So there's about to be an unexpected turn of events because somebody feels like you feels you releasing, releasing them. Like not just like I'm taking a break from them. Oh, like, like you guys are really like about to be done with them. Like they feel you cutting that you're doing that cord cutting or they just feel you really like making that decision to be done with them. Call it quits with them. They can feel you like catching feelings for somebody else, choosing another person over them. Like there's a lot of different things, but like you guys are like done, done with this person. Like you've had enough. When, yeah, maybe in the past, and they want to hold on to you, I feel like. Like, what's the Four of Pentacles? Or it's making them feel very insecure, or they feel like they're losing control. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, the star. Yeah, in the moon. The worst is over, okay. Mm. Fear of what here? What about the star? This time, again. It's like they don't feel like they can run any longer. It's like they've been trying to hold on to you, but also run from something here. Run from making changes, run from healing or whatever they need to do. And it's like they feel like they can't do it anymore because they're about to lose you. Like, so what are they, what's about to happen here? Okay, you're going to receive a message from this person. You may even receive an apology from them. Give me a, a little bit more divinely guided nine of cups they feel like you guys are meant to be like they feel like you are their wish fulfillment they feel like you guys were guided to one another they may even tell you this but they feel like the two of you are supposed to be together yeah but they just kind of feel like 
Yeah, I've seen three of cups though. The king of wands, the seven of wands. I don't like this. And the devil. This person has some type of addiction. It's almost, it's like, this person feels like you are wish fulfillment. Yeah, they want to settle down with you. They see themselves marrying you, but it's like not right now. Yeah, waiting. They said they want you to wait on them. That's not fair. No, because they know that they have a fear of losing you, but they're not ready to be with you. They feel like you're about to be a missed opportunity if you're not already. And because you guys are in this energy where you're not playing with this person, boundaries, you're independent. You don't need them. You're not, you, you see things clearly. You know your worth, the Empress, Taurus energy. Yeah. It's like somebody knows that they feel like you're everything that they want, but they, it's like almost like they're not in a place to be able to handle you properly right now. Like they, they're probably possibly still dealing with a third party. They have addictions. They're toxic. They got a lot of work to do on themselves still. They know that they're not ready for this all the way, but it's like they don't want to lose you because they feel like you guys are supposed to be together. Like they feel like you're the one that the, the two of you are supposed to be in union one day. So they're going to do what they can to try to hold on to you. And that's just crazy. All right. So let's get, um, where's that other deck? It's like they don't want anybody else having what they view as their wish fulfillment. The person, their person, the one. They don't want anybody else having you. So that's what. So I need more before I move on to that. So what is the so if this is what the storyline is, what is the victory here? The divine intervention, the six of wands, taming a player. Oh, so didn't I say I felt like someone's ego was dying? This person's been trying to resist you, but I feel like what's about to happen. This person's about to surrender. Yeah, this person's about to give in, reach out to you. Let's see, taming a player. Told you somebody's walking away from something. We have the Knight of Wands and the Cannot. Yeah, it's like somebody's about to walk away from their player lifestyle or something like that because they're grieving you. Yeah, grieving, breakup, loss, regret, sadness. Nine of Wands. Hiding feelings. It's like somebody feels like they can't hide this from you any longer. They're about ready to crack here. Yeah, they're stressed. They're losing sleep over you. They feel like they got to say something. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio Energy, and Frozen. They feel like the way that you love them, they feel like they're never going to find anybody that loves them the way that you did. Like They feel like that's something that's hard for them to let go, uh, is the way that you love them. They could also be holding on to, what is this? Give them a card. Queen of Cups, Frozen, Children. They could be holding on to a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio because of something to do with children. Or because they're uh, some type of inner child wound. Yeah, but they, they do feel trapped with a person. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Maybe they feel like they need more time to get themselves out of something else, too. It's crazy. It, they said they want to work on things with you. Some of you guys could be earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But, yeah, they have a lot of passion for you. But they do feel stuck with somebody else. Yeah, they do. Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like they're going to try to re-spark something with you. But... They're going to try to apologize. They're going to try to make amends. They're going to try to do some damage control. But you guys need to know that there is somebody else here who they feel trapped with right now. Why? And it could be because of money. And they're going to try to keep this a secret from you. So maybe they feel like they got to like stay with this person because either maybe they think this person is going to take them to court for child support and they can't afford it. Or they think that they have to like keep a, a stable household, you know, because they do have kids or it's something like that. We have critics. Oh, see, there will be external influencers who will be very judgmental of your connection. They may contribute to issues that arise between you both. So they have some people around them that don't want the two of you together. Opposites. They feel like the two of you are too different or something like that. Or you're different from you don't you don't fit in with their crowd or them or whatever. Opposites attract. You will have many differences, but this won't break the connection. You will actually find attraction and the differences you share, if effort is made, a beautiful balance of complementary differences can exist. We have self-love. They're trying to learn how to fill their own cup before they can truly give it to anyone else. I was kind of getting that earlier that maybe this person really just needs to be alone. They don't need to be with anybody. We have temptation, but it's hard. Maybe that's what they've been trying to do. I don't know. Or like, but it's like this person always falls into temptation or you're their temptation. This person will entice your energy and tempt you to try new things. They will encourage you to leave your comfort zones and all your inhibitions behind. Why do I feel like you're tempting this person? When I read that card, it gave me a different perspective. This person feels like you're very different from whoever these people they have around them are. 
and they feel like that these people that are they have around them don't want the two of you together because they see how different you are they see the amount of self-love and the amount of confidence and independence and success that you have and it, it, it these people don't like it they're in, i heard intimidated so they're intimidated by that they it's like if this person experiencing you is making them want to leave their comfort zone try new things different things it's, it's actually making this person realize like maybe i do deserve more or maybe there is better out there for me than this like because whoever these people are that they have around them have been trying to keep them small we have territorial they will state claims on you i didn't i say this person feels like you are theirs i said this they will state claims on you and should they ever lose you they will make it very difficult for anyone else to have you have a chance with you why do i also feel like whoever these people are, are very possessive over the, this twin this twin of yours they don't want anybody else to have this twin you have masquerade they are hiding their true selves behind a mask of ego and pride yeah that could I, i'm definitely getting with the six of wands and the tower an ego death energy because the six of wands can be about being prideful sometimes and the tower is about something crumbling falling apart demolish somebody's ego and pride it's like they're put they're about to put their pride aside and do something here they're hiding their true selves behind a mask of ego and pride which you see is not who they truly are deep within so somebody's been trying to act like they don't have feelings for you or like they don't care or something like that that's not true yeah this person look at this this person's intentions are to sweep you off your feet and make you fall for them hard and fast secret admirer yeah somebody has all these feelings and emotions for you that they've not been expressing watching you from a distance they have been lurking and keeping a close eye on you because they want you but they just aren't sure how to approach the situation we are speechless they are about to catch guys i'm telling you it's in that the, that tower aspect is also just something catching you off guard like maybe you guys like it's been like the battle of the wits like you're like no i'm not reaching out to them first they can reach out to me and maybe they were acting the same way about you but they're about to cave and reach out to you first so i mean this is childish but like you win you know what i mean because not that you were competing with them or whatever but it's like they're gonna surrender to you because they can't they don't want to lose you they're about to catch you off guard with a shock of a lifetime that will leave you uncertain of what to say yeah but we have wicked ways though they are using magic on you i also get with this card manipulation in the connection to get what they want out of it for their own personal gain so be careful they may do something that they normally don't do but this is just so that they, it can like you know make you think well maybe they have changed or maybe they are really being serious they don't ever put in this much work they don't ever give me this as much uh, um attention um they don't usually you know put in this much effort maybe they are serious maybe they have changed but i don't think they have they're just using a different tactic not yet at least they are waiting for the perfect time to make their move to you yeah pda they feel a sense of pride when they have you on their arm it's like it's something about losing you too that it's like they feel like it doesn't look good for them like they miss out on somebody that looks as good as you or that's as successful as you or whatever the situation is they want to show you off to the world devour they will consume your energy with cravings of lust and desire until you feel like you have been drained dry so be careful of them they definitely want to like be intimate with you but spirit is saying be careful of that this person is only going to be yeah waiting they are dragging their feet in this connection because they feel like you will wait around for them to get their act together they thought yeah while they they're, while they're doing something in regards to money possibly just working they will rarely make time for anything else as their main focus is on their financial gains and loving leveling up on their career ladder so they'll choose to be with somebody else if they think that is going to give them a come up they will choose work you know they will work choose work over or overtime over being with you or spending time with you things like that but spirit says things are changing they are going through a transformative period right now and because of that things will start soon switch up in the connection as well one more look tyrant they thrive over dominating and having control over their lives the lives of others in all situations and if you're not mindful they, they can include you too this person like i said earlier they feel like you're the they you're all that they want they don't want to lose power and control over you they feel like you're the one they have eyes only for you no one else compares they can't picture feeling the way they do for anyone but you so they're gonna try to do what they can but at the same time guys this person is like mad at you for something what are they mad about <laughs> unforgiving what is this person mad about spirit nostalgia something that happened in the past good and bad they've been heavily reminiscing on what was and missing all the good despite the bad yeah it's like they're so mad about something that happened in the past between the two of you i don't know but ruthless 
they'll be careless and reckless with your heart and leave you feeling completely shattered. And some of you guys may not forgive this person. The unforgiving card could definitely be you not being able to get over what this person did to you in the past. Yeah, leave you because they were ruthless. They didn't care how they hurt you or how they made you feel. Leave you feeling completely shattered and broken without a second thought. Yeah, they did something to you. They told you lies. They told you half truths, and they didn't care how that was going to affect you. So, and they may even try to tell you like they weren't playing games with you, but they were. They were just there's person. Yeah, constrained. Yeah, they're trying to maintain some type of control over you. Um, 